O'Reilly. Yo, Officer O'Reilly. Hey, what's going on, man? It's Case. Baby. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get a follow up on the on the whole deal about my shoes being missing. I haven't heard anything. I mean, so. that's because there's nothing for you to hear. Uh, I mean, we can't uh -huh. find the guy. We already told you we can't find the guy. Just buy some more <laughs> shoes. <laughs> no, it's not nearly that that simple. I mean. This not just a, a regular. I mean, you understand we're trying to fight crime, <laughs> right? Sir, I do understand that, but this is not just a regular pair of shoes. I mean, you can't just go to the store and buy more of these well, how shoes. Why the hell did you get the first pair? Uh, the technology in this shoe was was something you know that's not even out yet. Like this is tomorrow's technology. We're talking about. Let me tell about you something. Here. I got BET. I've seen Crips. I know Crips how don't you even guys come do on it. BET. You got a closet full of shoes, probably. Just get some more shoes, guy. I mean, okay, come on. Okay, look. So at the beginning of this conversation, you said you're, you're fighting crime. Yeah. This is a crime. <laughs> it, and you guys are going to do nothing? This is no crime, buddy. I'm All talking right, about. Forget it. Drug Just dealers. Don't even worry murderers. about it. Forget it. I mean, why don't you call that boy Neil Bridges? He got shoes everywhere. I've seen him on TV. Just leave us alone about the damn shoes. I'm make it rain. I'm make it rain. They said it's raining in the gym. 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 Rain make up from the corner and get by it from the post. Rain make up from the corner and get by it from the post. What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. The guy sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And I am back with the much anticipated game five of the Western Conference Finals. I'm ready to get these clippers out of here, y'all. Quite frankly, I'm tired of looking at these jerseys, all right? So I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm starting to think that the Denver Police Department don't give a damn about my kicks. I still don't have the Rainmaker 2s back. In the meantime, I'm still rocking the Retro 6s with the custom colorway, all right? Now, before I really get into the commentary, I want to give you guys a bit of an apology. I'm still tinkering with the render settings on this new software. And quite frankly, I haven't found the right formula yet. All right, so this video might look a little hazy or, or blurry or whatever. And trust me, I tried. I rented this thing like six times. When I could get the picture looking great, I would get the random uh, green screen. And I don't know. I'm going to get it figured out. Just be patient with me, please. All right. So let me get back to the commentary. Let me get in the game. All right. So I don't know why, but my teammates didn't really start off just popping offensively. And I just figured, wait, hold on. Rainmaker, boy. All right, and I just figured that I would carry the load offensively until somebody else on the team decided to step up. And I got faith in them. They'll step up. Case in point, man, I'm in the post way out at the three-point line, and I still get to the basket with ease. I do what I want to do, man. What could the Clippers possibly do, huh? So, I don't know. Right about then, it was time for Iggy to step up, and Blake Griffin gets in his, wait, let me do the math, plus this, carry the one, his 289th poster of this round. This guy's not having a good round. Like, everybody on this team is dunking on Blake Griffin early and often. It's karma, you know? Blake Griffin loved dunking on people. Now he sees how it feels. So, until my teammates step up offensively, I'm prepared to do whatever the team needs me to do including going up strong, getting offensive rebounds, and throwing it back up there with Blake Griffin hanging all over my shoulder. Get off my shoulder, bro. That's crazy. So nobody sees me here, which is strange, <laughs> but Andre Miller sees me. I get the mid-range to fall. Chop, chop, chop. Trying to get back in this game, man, chopping at this tree. So Gallinari shoots me the eyes. I cut to the basket for the alley-oop. 2K trolling, man. They ain't giving me my replays. About 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Look at this. They inbound to me. Two-hand overhead bullet pass to Andre Iguodala. And then I cut through the paint and alley-oop. Oh, my God. Not only do I lift off on DeAndre Jordan, but I DeAndre jordan DeAndre Jordan. It's karma, man. You didn't have to do Brandon Knight like that. And if you think about it, DeAndre is left-handed, but he caught the oop right-handed. Okay, well, I'm right-handed, and I caught the oop left-handed. DeAndre, treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Stop dunking on people, man. They don't like it, all right? So at the end of the first quarter, it's still a bit of a deficit. But as crazy as this is going to sound, I feel like the momentum is shifting. I really do. Maybe I'm crazy. Or maybe I've already, you know, been in this situation enough times to know that my teammates got my back. 
If you've been watching these playoff videos, you know we've been starting slow like every game. But I don't know. We just seem to get back in it. I like us. I like my team. Okay, so I'm snatching rebounds this game. I told you guys I'm willing to do whatever the team needs me to do. And right now, nobody's getting rebounds but me. So that's what I'm doing, all right? One point game right here. You know we're about to get this lead. I feel it. I'm trying to set the pick for Andre Miller. When it comes back to me, I'm just going to go up with the left hand layup. You know, my right hand is tired. Let's let the left hand get a workout. Shooting a great percentage. Yes, this is Hall of Fame. And then it goes back to me on the wing. You know I'm going to make it rain from outside. I love that corner shot, man. That's the song, you know, rain maker from the corner. You know how it go. All right. So we got the lead now, and I'm trying to make sure that we never look back. Still trying to set the pick for my point guard and work something out. And a great, sexy bounce pass from the Manimal here. I'm going to the whole two-hand toilet flush, and you want to take a guess at who got in that poster too? Blake. That boy can't stay out of the poster, man. He just can't. The boy loves the camera. So some good defense is being played on me here. I kick it over to Iguodala, and I'm trying to get to the basket, and I can't. But it's all good. Robin is ready to play now, and not a moment too soon. Right here at the end of the first half, I'm feeling like Andre's ready to go. Good, because I can't, you know, I'm playing well, but I still need somebody else. I've always said that. I need at least one more teammate. All right, so let's get back into it. Third quarter play. Let's see if we can keep the drive alive, so to speak. Boom, I'm still snatching rebounds. I'm giving my team the boost, the much-needed boost. I'm kicking it over to my partner in crime, and he now has his jump shot. Let's go, man. That's all I needed. Now, the Clippers are officially in trouble. Like, for real, for real. All right? Case in point, man. Look at Ty Lawson working the give and go with me. He goes to the basket. I trust him. He gets the shot to fall. The lead is steadily growing. He tries to oop here, misses it. I get what looks like is a rebound, even though 2K says it's not. Kick it back to Ty Lawson, and he's making it rain from outside. Let us go, please. Let my people go. We doing what we want to do, man. I hate the Clippers have to be in this situation. It's not their fault that CP3 is not here. But at the same time, it's not our fault CP3 not here. We gonna, you know, we just got to play. So I'm trying to get the rebound here. Even though I can't, Karan Butler passes up the open jump shot, goes to the basket, and he can't convert the Yule. Kicking that thing up, court to Andre Godala, slowing it down, throwing it back to me. Rainmaker. Boy, come on, man. Every time I kick it up to Andre, the defense has to pay attention to him, and then I can kind of find my own shot. Yeah, whatever I want to. Just do what I want to do. So, fourth quarter, man, I'm on the left side of the court. I need not say what happens from there. Usually, you have to put wet floor signs up when I get on the left side of the court. Still on the left side, this time behind the arc, same result. Basketball goes through rim, falls out the bottom of the net. That's what happens. I don't know. So, with three minutes left in the fourth, we're really in control of this game here. You got JaVale McGee jumping passes. And then I kind of get sloppy. I had one turnover going over, going into the fourth quarter, and then Terry. Oh my, Terry! God, what are you thinking, Chauncey? What are you thinking? Look at this kid. First of all, why are you on the right side of the basket trying to lay it up with your left hand? That's fundamental stuff. Don't ever do that again, Chauncey. Ever. All right, so you can't go to the well one time too many. Ty Lawson did convert into paint once for me. I tried again; it doesn't work. And like I said, I went into the, the fourth quarter with one turnover. I got four right now at this point. The shot clock is winding down, and I want Andre Iguodala to take the shot. I'm like, shoot it, Iggy. He gives it back. I'm trying to force it back to him, and that's my fifth turnover of the game. Fourth turnover of the quarter, and Coach is not happy. And I'm like, Coach, wait a minute. The game is over. Just let me get one more rebound. You know, I just want to get my double-double. And... Nah, coach ain't having it, all right? So I get pulled. It doesn't matter. Game five is ours. The series is ours. And I'm going to give you guys a brief preview so you'll see who we might be playing against in the in the uh, finals. And game one of the finals will go live Monday on the Full House ENT. I'll see you then. Peace. We talk about haters like it's a bad thing. Haters help you get me. I love my haters. 
Yeah, they hated Jesus, so of course they gon' hate me Especially when I'm in my old school skate team Round 285 like the Chevy on the skate ring Cause when you start making moves, haters say things But I'm too old for fist fighting, so I'ma spray things Bad attitude, temper quicker than a saline Don't get me started on my team, shout they they mean Hopping out the black van like the 18 In a circle made men, it's the same thing Like putting MJ and LeBron on the same team We out of this world, you can call us aliens Tight circle even though we lean like a scaling I became a problem for him back when I was 18 Well, you did it. How's it feel to have secured a berth in the NBA Finals? Has it sunk in yet? Whew, it feels great, man. It's been a long, hard road, and I'm really proud of the team for getting this far, but look, we're not done yet, so it's not the time to start getting excited or acting like we're just happy to be here. We got to do everything we can to not breed complacency. There's four more games to win, and that needs to be our one and only focus right now. My old school keeps skating, skating. Haters mean you win and keep hating, hating. If you wait for me to lose, keep waiting. I'm ahead of world in my hands. Be patient, patient. The old school keeps skating, skating. Haters mean you win and keep hating, hating. If you wait for me to lose, keep waiting. I'm ahead of world in my hands. Be patient.